failure is a part of the process. So ladies, give yourself grace. Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in today. So I wasn't going to do another video until after I got back from vacation, but I was inspired by a video that I saw this morning and I thought I would come in and share some thoughts that is relative to my, my thoughts right now, where I'm at and where I'm living and how I'm navigating this journey of life. So I wanted to come in today just to share those thoughts with you, to give you something to think about throughout this week. So failure is a part of the process, ladies, and I want to talk about that. I think a lot of times we're afraid to do things because we are afraid of failure. No matter if it has to do with relationships, jobs, you know, just getting out into the world, experimenting, stepping out of your comfort zone to just do things, try things. I believe fear holds us prisoner to exploring and trying new things. So I was watching a video this morning. Uh, some of you know that last year I, I attended a conference online called Exodus Summit. And I've been following two ladies, one by the name of Stephanie uh, Perry and Rashida Dow. And every year they do a, a summit and they're having it, I think it's coming up real soon. Probably, I think it's the week that I'm gonna be on vacation. So that's probably, I think that was why I decided not to attend it this year, but I did last year. And so I was listening to some of the video this morning. A lot of women are expressing fear of doing a sabbatical, traveling abroad, solo traveling, even if it's within the States, because they have a fear of a lot of things. Some women express the fact that they had fear because they felt that their health wasn't the greatest. And I guess they're worried about going somewhere and becoming sick in another country or somewhere far away from home and not being able to get the care that they need. And some people just have the fear of trying something new because they've never done it before or the fear of doing it alone because they've never experimented with doing anything alone. But fear is actually, uh, well, failure is actually a part of that process. Everything that you do in life, let me get close when I say this. You're going to experience something where there is fear involved. And let me say this. You're not going to go through this life without having failure of some kind. It's going to be something that you wanted to do, something that you wanted to acquire, and you're going to fail at that because it's a part of the process. Failure actually teaches you a lot about yourself. Failure helps you to step out that comfort zone so that you won't be afraid to get up and try it again. Failure is a part of the process and you have to learn how to give yourself grace. You have to give yourself grace because you are not the only person who have experimented and, ex well, I'll say not experimented, but experienced failure in life. It doesn't matter if you are one year old to 90 years old. At some point in life, there's going to be a bout of failure with something that you wanted to do or wanted to have. And it's all a part of the process. And if you live in that box of fear all of your life, you will miss out on some of the most important and, and exciting adventures that you could possibly have with your life. You got to be willing to step out that comfort zone. Let me tell you guys something. I've talked about it many times. I have tried so many different things in my life. I've had uh, a lot of different um, adventures I wanted to take or I have an entrepreneur spirit and I have had multiple things that I have done in my life as far as being an entrepreneur that some worked for a little while, then they fell off and some totally flopped from the beginning. But it has never stopped me from wanting to get up and try again because I know that's something that I want to do. So now that I'm in this phase of life where I feel that, you know, time is running short and I need to do everything that I can to be able to enjoy whatever time I have left and also to fulfill some of those things that I want to fulfill, like my passion for sharing inspiration and motivation with women to encourage them to get up and live life. So if I'm going to do that, guess what I have to do? I have to be willing to step outside of my comfort zone so that I can show them how to do that. And if I was afraid to do that, guess what? I would not be able to live out the dream that I have of sharing these experiences with people, women who are over 50, women who are over 60, that no matter what age you are, you still have the ability, if you have the strength in your body to get up 
and to experience life and have a great time doing it. And so that is why I'm here to hopefully encourage you that are kind of afraid, kind of stuck to get up and to take a leap of faith. It's really about that leap, because once you do it one time, you'll understand that it wasn't as bad as you thought. And even if you fail, even if you fail, let me say that because it will be failures. Don't let it keep you from trying again. You know, I think about a lot of people who are really in the eyes of society, have a lot, are rich, if you will. But a lot of them experienced a lot of failure before they got there. If they didn't inherit that riches, a lot of them filed bankruptcies, lost everything to get up and start over. And many business owners do that even now. Even people who have these dreams of things that they want to do with their life. They have to know that it's a chance that it will not pan out. It'd be a chance that they might fail at that. So I want to talk to my women who are in that box right now, because I do know the older you get, the more you become complacent in a lot of ways. You become set in your ways and you do things in a set pattern. You don't want to deviate outside that pattern because if you do, it's going to be unknown and you don't know what it's going to uh, turn out to be. So you want to stick to what you know in order to to make sure you get there. But here's the thing. What about those things that you want to do that's outside of that box? If you never step outside of that box, you will never know. You will never experience that joy or that fun or that excitement of life. You would never be able to feel those dreams and those passions that you've always wanted to do. So we have to know that failure will be a part of the process and that in order for you to be able to have this life that you want, you have to be able and willing to say, OK, let's go for it. And if I fail, I'm going to get up and try again. See, a lot of us here as content creators, and I like to use this scenario because when I think about the time frame that I have been on YouTube and some would say, girl, you should have a couple hundred thousand followers. Maybe, maybe not. But this is something that I enjoy doing. So regardless of whether I have 5,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers, it won't stop me from doing something, doing this because this is what I want to do. So you can't be looking around at everybody else's successes or where they are and where they have gotten to and think that you won't get there or you're not good enough to get there because that will keep you stuck. So failure will always be a part of that process, ladies, and you got to know that. And you got to be willing to take that leap if you want to. And I'm encouraging my sisters to live. Let's live. In my last video, I talked about how times are changing. Oh my gosh, times are changing and you cannot be left behind. That's one thing that's constant in life is change. It's going to always be. And I know a lot of us are fearful and it's people that are a lot older than me that did not get some of the experience with technology. So it, it kind of scares them to get out there and have to, to try it now. But if you don't, you'll be left behind. So you got to be willing to step outside the comfort zone and, you know, scuff your knees, fall a little bit if necessary, but make sure you get back up and just keep trying. So I just wanted to share that with you all today. Hope you all have a wonderful day and that um, you're thinking about your journey. If you're over 50, if you're over 60, that you can still be able to experience the joys that you want in life. So. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you have not, and become a part of the family. And I thank you all for viewing today. And I will see you all later, getting ready to uh, get this vacation going. I'm so excited. I need the r and &R. I need to be able to just uh, rest, pause, rest, and be still <laughs> and get away. And that's what I plan to do. So I'll see you guys real soon. Take care.